Today, we're installing an engine intake on a 2003 Duramax LB7. This is engine part number EV07000. Okay, so inside of this kit, uh, this is all uh, plastic molded uh, stuff. This is a really, really nice kit. Uh, just basic parts, they really got it down uh, to a really simple install. So that's what we're gonna go through for you today. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install the filter minder. Uh, the filter minder is, is, comes in the kit. Uh, first thing you wanna do is there's a rubber grommet in your hardware pack. You wanna put the grommet inside of the box, inside of the filter box here, and then go ahead and put the filter minder in. Just push it in. All right. Then there's a vacuum hose that comes with the kit. There's a barb fitting on the end of the filter miner. Just go ahead and hook the, the vacuum hose onto that. Your next step is going to be to actually put the filter on the kit lid. So we'll just go ahead and install that. Be careful when you're dealing with the filter. The filter's got a barb fitting on the end of it. Uh, that's where the vacuum hose is going to go here in just a, in a later step. So we're going to go ahead and put the filter on. And then we're going to try to orient the clamp to where we can get to it. So once we've got that tight, we're gonna go ahead, bring your filter box over, your vacuum hose, it goes right here on the end of the filter. And we're just gonna go ahead and assemble the filter into the box. That right the first time. Make sure you don't have the case. All right, so four mounting holes in this box, there's three small screws that come and then a long one here. The screws, they've got a, they've got ceiling washers that come with the screws. We're gonna go ahead and put each one of the ceiling washers on the screws and just drop the screws right here into their respective holes and tighten everything down. So now we're going to install the mass airflow sensor into the intake tube here. Uh, it can only go one way. Of course, the first time I put it in, it's the wrong way. The new hardware is metric Allen. I believe this is a four metric. Don't hold me to that. Now we're on the truck portion of our intake, intake installation. Uh, there's a plate, or should be a plate at the bottom of this uh, from Chevrolet right at the bottom where this intake box goes. Engine has got two plastic dowels that that will go into uh, and then you just sit it down on top of those dowels and that will keep it where it needs to be. Now the I'm going to show you the way the plenum goes in there. The plenum you'll notice has a reducer on it. It is actually going to go into the box and sink all the way there. This coupler is going to couple those two pieces together on this surface and this surface. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put this coupler on here.
Okay, we're gonna turn that up now, keep it out of the way. And we're gonna put our last coupler on. So one last coupler to complete our installation is a reducer that goes between the intake horn and the box itself. Now we're just going to roll our, plant them down and make the two together just like so. Alright. Now that we have that done, we're going to tighten up all four of our clamps. And last but not least, make sure that you reconnect your mass airflow sensor. So once your mass airflow sensor is reconnected and all of your connections are tight, your installation is complete. This is the engine intake on a 2003 LB7 Duramax. Uh, really nice intake. You can see the engine puts a lot of uh, work into their designs. Uh, everything facing forward here has got the engine logo on it. It looks really nice. It really cleans up the engine compartment. Uh, the filter not minder is a nice touch. You don't have to have the lid off the box to see what the status of the filter is. The filter minder will do that for you. Two big large compartments that will pull air in on the front and the side of this uh, that will pull air in on the uh, in the stock location. So if you've got a question on this installation or any of our in other installations, please give us a call. Thank you.